drop soup or danhua tang is a very popular Chinese home cooking dish. Nowadays, it has become so popular that you can even find it throughout Chinese restaurants in the U.S. So first, let's do some preparation. To slice the corn, uh, first hold it near the top of the ear, and then cut downward with a sawing motion. Continue until all the corn is removed. To cut the king oyster mushrooms, first uh, slice it into slices, and then cut it into strips. And eventually, we're gonna cut it into one third inch pieces. I've always been a big soup eater. I like to add lots of wholesome ingredients in my soup. So instead of cooking multiple dishes, I just put all these healthy ingredients in one pot. It's easy, it's nutritional, and it's delicious. To cut the Napa cabbage, uh, first we're going to slice it into strips and then cut it into one third inch pieces. Napa cabbage is one of my family's favorite green leaf vegetables. Both of my daughters love Napa cabbage. Uh, it's great because it's low in calories but packed with loads of antioxidants, minerals and vitamins such as vitamin A, B, C, and K. And you can literally put Napa cabbage in anything. Soup, dumplings, wonton, stir-fry. They're just really great. And then now we're going to cut the tomato. Uh, first, we're going to cut it into slices, then cut it into strips. And eventually, we're cutting it into one-third inch pieces. And to mince the scallions, first we're going to chop off the white part. And then mince it into small pieces. Now I'm going to separate the egg whites and egg yolks. Let's add half teaspoon of rice vinegar in here. And we're going to beat the egg whites. Also put half teaspoon of the rice vinegar in the egg yolks and then beat the egg yolks. By doing so, the egg will stay super soft and silky after it is cooked. You'll see. To season the shrimp, uh, so in this bowl we're going to add a dash of rice wine. Also a pinch of white pepper. Mix well. And now we're going to make the cornstarch slurry. So in a small bowl, add the cornstarch and water. Then mix well. Now we're going to mix all the seasonings together. Again, in a small bowl, add the salt sugar, white pepper, mix a little. Now add in the chicken stock and bring to a boil. Transfer in the corn King oyster mushrooms, Napa cabbage, 
tomato. And cook over medium high heat for about five minutes until the vegetables are soft. I think egg drop soup is a recipe that is very adaptable. So feel free to add any ingredients that you like and take out anything that you don't like. So if you see any forms right here, you can also scoop it out. Now we're going to introduce the shrimp and its seasonings. Cook over medium high heat for about one minute. If you're a vegetarian, of course you can just use vegetable stock for this recipe. You can take out the shrimp or also replace the shrimp with tofu. So if you see any forms, you can just scoop it out like this. Pour in the cornstarch slurry to thickening the soup. Quickly stir with a pair of chopsticks until it is thickened. Turn to high heat and slowly add in the egg whites in a circular motion. And stir with your chopsticks a little bit. And then slowly add in the egg yolks in a circular motion as well. Lastly, you can add in scallions and sesame oil. 